Please don't say anything to Nance. Don't want to worry her. What with everything else going on? I can't believe he's asking you to do that. It's all talk. I suppose he just... He feels like he's got some sort of control. But why is he bringing that up now? You've all got enough going on as it is. I can't imagine what he's going through. It must be terrifying, being so close to the end. Just got to be there for him. Someone needs to get back down to the bar. Tracy's all on her own. Yeah, yeah, this won't take a sec. Granddad's got something he wants to say. <laughs> I'm sorry if I came across a bit heavy-handed. Oh, well, that's an understatement. I mean what I said. I don't want to fade away into the furniture. But it's a burden that I can't put on anybody. Especially not the people I care about most. Thanks, Dad. Well, it'll be nice for a change. Are you sure that cancer won't spread to your nut? Oh, I'm sorry to barge in. Um, can I have a word? Yeah. Of course. Let it go. Well, I just told them exactly what you told me, and they said that's all they needed to hear. So, uh, when are they coming to pick him up? Well, I think we just have to wait. What are you off to? I'm going to have a drink with my grandson. How can you still give him the time of day? Look, I've dropped my idea of topping myself. Did as I was told. Least you can do is to give this Dean business a rest for one night. Well, Linda's been down the station. So they're going to bang that dirty wrong up any day now. Yeah, we'll see about that. At the end of the day, it's just her word against his. You say that. Oh. Say it again. I will have Let's to hide you out. Get out. Get out of my sight now. Look here. Get out. I don't know how much longer I can stand Dean walking around as if he's done nothing wrong. Listen, you need to calm this right down and keep it together. They're gonna nick him. They better do it soon. I swear on my life, if they don't, I'll make sure he's brown bread. <laughs> 